What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs, cap to Sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to donate. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys from the bottom of my heart chakra. I received another channeling, so we're going to do it. Um, I hope everybody's having a fantastical day. Um, my kids went with their dad right um, this weekend because it's his weekend. And then Monday we have the court trial. Tentatively have the court trial on Monday. Per, uh, we're currently on their McClendon standard. Um, and Monday is the tentative trial day to update everybody. But, um, yeah, so love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, just think of me. If you could think of me and keep your thoughts, prayers, well wishes, and wonderful good graces, I very much appreciate it. Love you guys so much. I do. Um, I'm just going to go in there Monday and tell the truth, and that's just the truth. Um, at least I know I can go in there and tell the truth um, with a clear conscience, and that's just the truth. Whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. Just saying, just saying. At least I don't go around stealing or frauding people. Just saying, just saying. Um, thou shalt not steal. It's in the Bible. Be my needs to hear that. I'm not a Bible person, but be my needs to hear that. Just saying. Okay. So, the channel message I received was, a toxic family is about to, has been exposed. I heard they've been exposed. And... Some members of this family is about to start getting a flood of phone calls soon. I heard a flood. A flood of phone calls. Um, I heard regarding child pedophilia and fraud and theft of the past. I heard some of these members will answer some of them. Some they will not. Um, and some will refuse to speak to the people. Um, I heard lawsuits are coming from this because it was such a serious situation in the past. So you plug it in how it resonates. It's regarding child pedophilia, fraud, and theft. But I heard the truth is already, it's been revealed. It's been revealed very, very, very publicly. There is no getting around it. Now, it has been revealed very, very, very publicly. There's no getting around it now. That's what I heard. So the truth has been revealed very, very, very publicly, and there's no getting around it. So whoever these, to whatever toxic family this is and how this applies, some members of this toxic family is about to get a flood of phone calls. Sounds like soon, like upcoming. It might be today. It might be tomorrow. It might be Sunday. It might be Monday. I'm not sure, but soon, whenever that is. Some today on Friday, some tomorrow, some Sunday, some Monday, some Tuesday. Okay, so some today, Friday, some Saturday, some Sunday, some Monday, some Tuesday. So we've got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday within a five-day range. A flood of phone calls. I heard the toxic family members, some of the members, they're going to answer for some of these people, for some they're not. For some of the members, um, um, some of them, I heard they're going to refuse to speak to the people trying to call them. But I heard lawsuits are coming from this. Lawsuits are coming from this, whether they want it to or not, because it was such a serious situation in the past. I heard fraud, theft, and... Um, Child, ped child pedophilia. So the family is so toxic, they not only stole and frauded person, people, place, or situation, but they participate in child pedophilia, which is sick in the head. That's that they need to be mental health treated for that. And I'm just being for real. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm not trying to be crass. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm being for real. Anybody that participates in child pedophilia to gain a buck or a car or a vehicle or nice clothes off the back or backs of children, they need serious mental health evaluation. Not a mini mental health assessment, like a full-blown uh, mental health assessment. And I'm just being real. I'm serious. But this um, phone, this talks of family is about to get phone call. I mean, their phone is about to get blown up. One very cold feminine energy in this toxic family will will deny all the phone calls except to certain very close people. It's about to give many people huge wake-up calls, and they will file legal action very quickly. 
Okay, I heard one particular very cold feminine energy. She's 40 and above. She's 40 and above. She's 40 and above and she's a femme energy. She's in this toxic family. I, I don't know if she headed this child pedophile ring or helped create it or gains all the money from it or what have you. I don't know. But somehow fraud, theft, and child pedophilia ring is involved with this. She's 40 or above. She's a femme energy. I didn't hear a sign on her. But she's in this toxic family. For some of you guys, I feel this could be your toxic family or you are the ones about to display all these hordes of phone calls to the toxic family. How that resonates? You have to plug yourself in where you fit. Are you the ones about to display all the hordes of phone calls to this toxic family? Or are you in this toxic family? Are you the 40 and above toxic cold femme energy that's about to deny all the phone calls except for a select few that it sounds like she already speaks to? But I heard once she denies all these phone calls coming to her, it's going to give all these people huge wake-up calls. And I heard legal action coming, it sounds like coming to her? It sounds like coming to her? Definitely coming to her and others. Definitely coming to her and others is going to come quickly. So, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, man. That's strong. She's 40 and above. She's a very cold, thin energy. So, she does, you know, she's not warm and loving. And um, she doesn't, you know, I don't know if she has kid or kids. But she, if she does, I'm assuming. No, you have to. I'm a very loving them energy to my kids when they deserve it. But if they're not picking up their stuff or they're talking back to me, I'm not going to sit there and let it be a punching bag to them. But if they're doing what they're supposed to do, then of course I'll be fun and loving to them. But whoever this person is, I don't think she's cold and she's cold hearted to everybody. Not boundary setting is what I'm saying. Cold hearted to everybody. Uses children for money. Oh, that's sick. Okay, cold-hearted everybody uses children for money. Yeah, so this is its boundary setting. This is just dollar signs and eyeballs using children for money. Exploitation, abuse. She's 40 or above. Um, I think other members of her family are about to get phone calls too, but it sounds like she's the precipitating one here. This is sick. This is sick. A particular earth sign masculine is getting a huge wake-up call and an earth sign femme and other signs. And a very high vibrational air sign femme. And other signs. Many, many, many signs. High vibrational water sign femme. Getting huge wake-up calls. Okay, so I'm not going to go over all the signs. Wow, that was so quick. So, okay, so a bunch of you guys have vibrational people. I don't care what sign you are. I'm not going to repeat that because there were so many of them. So many signs. I don't care what sign you are, what placement you are. You're, if you fit over here, you fit over here. You're getting a huge wake-up call. You're high vibrational. You treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and value. I think you're about to call this person. And once you call this very cold 40 and above them energy that I think headed this child pedophilia and fraud and theft ring, or that's what I feel, but you plug in how it resonates, um, or knows about it or something, or makes the money from it or something, she's going to deny your call. She's going to deny, deny your call for the ones about to call her. I heard legal, then you're going to transmute the energy and file legal action on her is what it sounds. For others of you guys, I think you're just getting huge wake-up calls about this situation. Now, how are you connected to her? I feel you could be a co-worker. You could collaborate with her in community settings. You could be around her on a ball team. You could be around her on a group dynamic, a, a, a committee. Uh, workplace um, situation. You could be her boss. You could be her subordinate. You could be a equal playing co a co worker with her. Um, however, that resonates. But you're getting a huge wake up call about her. And um, what is this? a lot of you guys are about to file legal action on her. Um, and we've got high vibrational folks over here: earth signs, air signs, water signs, maybe fire signs. You plug yourself in where you fit. Getting huge wake-up calls. But I think it's going to be after you try to phone call, make a phone call to her and she blocks you. She denies you. She turns it off. She doesn't. She chooses not to respond to you. You plug in how it resonates. Main male upright, distant horizons upright. Number 1 or 36 could be very significant numbers in one's life. Number 1 or 36.
One of you is going to file a huge legal action on her ass, and you will have a great law dog to do it. I heard one of you guys is going to file heavy legal action on her ass, and you're going to have a great law dog to do it. Well, you go with your bad self, sir, ma'am. I think you're over here. Whether you are going to make the phone call and she denies it, or you're just getting a huge wake-up call about her. She's 40 and above. She's fem energy. She's cold-hearted. She knows about either participated or knows about theft and fraud and a pedophile ring. I feel she makes the money off the pedophile ring where she did. And I feel she could have to theft and fraud it, either you or somebody you care about. I mean, she's in bad business over here. And she has a whole toxic family of people supporting her. Sounds like she's the head. Sounds like she's the damn head. But you plug it in how it resonates. But one of you guys is going to fall legal action after all this is said and done. None of this has happened yet. It's upcoming. But when you do, I think this is your law dog. Right, you're going to have a great, once you file legal action, you're going to have a wonderful lawyer to do it. I heard a law dog. I think it's going to be a masculine law dog or a femme that takes on heavy masculine because we all take on masculine and femme energies. But he's pulling, this person's pulling up as a main male upright. So they're either a masculine energy or a femme that takes on heavy masculine. This is your law dog here. They can be any race, any, any, ethnic, any ethnicity, any age upcoming in the future when you file legal action on her. I think she might have abused or exploited your child or somebody you're connected to's child or had somebody involved in their money linked in some kind of funky pedophile ring. Um, or stole from you or thefted you or was involved in stealing or thieving from someone you know or care about. How that resonates? She's 40 and above, cold feminine energy. And she's surrounded by toxic family. That's why I'm estranged from my toxic family. And I have been for many years. And that's just me, but I can only speak on myself, not anybody else. But the, I feel this is your law dog energy upcoming. It's upcoming in the universe. It's distant horizons. It's upcoming, and this is your law dog. Whether it's a femme energy that takes on heavy masculine law dog or masculine that takes on heavy femme. How that resonates, sir, ma'am? For one, you are estranged from this toxic family. You're a feminine energy. And you had a masculine energy that really, really, really cares about you a very, a whole lot. And she strategically kept him away from you. But through many series of chain events, he's about to reach out to you. Okay. And for one of you guys, so for one, you're going to fall legal action on her. On this cold 40 and above them energy. This year, law dog. For some, you can be masculine energy in the distant horizons filing the legal action. You plug it in how it resonates with the law dog. That's situation one. Situation two, you are femme energy. And you are a part of this toxic family, but you are estranged. So you have estranged yourself from this toxic family. Kind of like me from my toxic family. But you plug it in how it resonates, femme energy. And you had a masculine energy, I heard, in the past that really, really cared about you. And really wanted to come in and, it sounds like, grow and build and manifest with you. But this person in your family strategically kept this person away from you which is sick. That is, that's mental health treatment right there. This person needs some mental health help, and I'm just being real. But I heard through many series of chain events, he's about to come in. He does not care anymore. This has gotten way the hell out of hand, and he's right it has. Okay, I heard he does not care anymore. It has gotten way the hell out of hand, out of hand, and it has. So, um, he, I guess he once cared, but now he doesn't. Um, because I guess because he's found out about all this shit that's going on in here with this pedophile ring, this fraud and this theft and this crazy ass shit that's going on with this toxic family. So much so that you've been energy, you've estranged yourself from this shit. And I don't blame you. I would have too. I, I, hell, I'm already estranged from my crazy ass family and that's just the truth. If I knew about all this, you better believe I, I definitely wouldn't be speaking to it. I'm not saying my family's into all this because I don't know. If my family was into all this, they sure as hell wouldn't tell me. That's for sure. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. Someone's getting a huge wake-up call. It could be one of you guys getting a huge wake-up call. I mean, I'm serious. But I don't know. They don't. Y'all saw the, the messages I posted on my community tab today from my estranged mother I haven't spoke to in years. And none of my other toxic family even did, bothers communicating with me because they know it's not going to get anywhere because of the past. And that's just the truth. So it's better just me and my kids move. And that's the truth. But anyway, so um, I heard she strategically kept you away from a femme energy you really care about, sir. 
Your masculine energy, this cold 40 and above them energy strategically kept you from a fem energy, her estranged family member, fem family member. She kept you away from her. But I heard you don't care anymore. The shit's just gotten way out of hand. And it sounds like you're about to come towards the fem energy. So in the future, you're about to come towards the fem energy, sir. Now, only you know if you're going to do this. Only you know if this is your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? Kudos to you, sir. Very stable, grounded, reliable, dependable, masculine energy. And he knows this feminine energy is too. If she's around the right people, and he's right. Okay. So you're a stable, grounded, reliable, masculine energy, sir. And I heard you know this person is too if she's around the right people. And I heard you're right. So it's one of her family members. Now, I don't know if this is a sister, a mother, a aunt, what have you, what have you. She strategically kept you from her for strategic reasons because she doesn't want her to be happy. She doesn't want you to be happy, obviously. But you're stable, grounded, reliable, dependable. So I think you have money, you have stability, you have, um, you're stable. You know, um, I think you have wealth or something of that nature or you're building your wealth, how that resonates. But you're not no broke joke. I'll tell you that. You're not no broke joke. Um, I'm not saying you're mega rich. I don't know. Only you know if you are or not. It's not about money here. But um, you are stable, grounded, dependable, reliable. Now, whether you can make that money and recoup your losses or you have five mil in the bank, I don't know. But I heard you know this person is um, basically the same way. And she's a good manifester and a good um, person either to be around platonically or a possible romantic connection, I'm presuming. She's just a good person to be around if she's around the right people. And I heard intuitively you're right. You, but I think you're romantically interested in her. I think you're romantically interested. For some, it could be business. Maybe you want to collaborate business-wise with her. For some, it could be romantic. You have to plug yourself in where you fit. But however that resonates, this chickadoo, cold chickadoo, pedo, thefter, frauder, chickadoo, has strategically been keeping you guys away from her, whether it's for a business collaboration, business ideas, um business opportunities or romance because she doesn't want what's best for her estranged fem family member basically does sound like she wants what's best for anybody and that's just the truth but i heard you don't care you're i think you've been blackmailed in the past but you're about to break it is what i feel but you plug it in how it resonates heard you know the shit's really gotten out of hand and it has sounds like it has this is a hot mess man that's why i live a very peaceful life to myself and i'm gonna renovate my home and move the hell out of state that's the truth. Let me see if I hear anything else. Huge shifts coming soon and quickly. Many, 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 many phone calls coming soon. Many. Huge shifts coming soon and quickly. Many, 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 many phone calls coming soon and quickly. So I heard. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So within this five-day range, we're at 722-2022, Friday. So some of the phone calls are going to happen today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Only you know when you're going to make these phone calls. If you're going to make them today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I feel for some, you're going to try to call her. She's going to deny your ass. Some, you're going to call somebody else. Some, you could be him trying to contact her. For some, you could be him trying to contact somebody else. For some, you could be contacting your lawyer regarding all this pedophile ring and theft and fraud shit. Only you know who you're about to contact, not anybody else. But a lot of phone calls happening within the next five days. No matter what you're, whether you're him, whether you're the cold, fem, 40 and above fem energy, whether you're the estranged fem family member, or, or somebody trying to make all these phone calls to this toxic ass family. How would that resonate? Or the lawyer. How that resonates, okay? This crap's crazy. All right, I love you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day and namaste.